It's day seven of Worlds, and here we saw three new world records as well as fast swims all around. In the finals of the Women's 50 Fly, Sarah Schroestrom wins her fifth straight world title in the event, touching first in a blazing 24-77. Zeng Yifei gets second and Gretchen Walsh reaches the podium in third. Cameron McAvoy just ripped a massive personal best of 21.06 in the Men's 50 Free to win his first world title and dominate the field by half a second. That time makes him the fourth fastest performer ever, just two 100s behind Caleb Dressel. Jack Alexi adds another silver medal to his collection, touching one 100s ahead of Ben Proud. The 15 minute turnaround between the finals of the women's 50 fly and the semis of the women's 50 free were clearly no problem for Sarah Stroystrom, as she not only takes the top seed, but also lowers her own world record, lowering the mark to a 23.61. And it is back to back semi final world records, as in the semis of the women's 50 breast, Ruta Melatute ties the world record with a 29.30. In the finals of the men's 100 fly, it's clear that Maxime Grousset and Josh Gandalf's decision to scratch the 50 free paid off, as they go 1 2, with Grousset taking the world title in a 50.14. Dari Rose rounded out the podium with a bronze medal finish. In the finals of the women's turner back, Kayla McEwen completes the backstroke sweep as she becomes the first swimmer to perform the backstroke hat trick, touching first in a 203.85. Reagan Smith was second in a 204.9 and Peng Zhui gets the bronze. Justin Rest takes the top seed in the semis of the men's 50 back with Zhu Yu and Hunter Armstrong tied behind him. In the women's 800 free, Kayla Ledecky wins her sixth straight world's title in the event. This pushes her past Phelps for the most individual world's goals, as well as makes her the first swimmer to ever six-peat an event. Behind her, Li Mingzhi won a very close battle with Ariane Titmus for the silver medal to become the second fastest performer ever. Another day, another Australian relay gold with a world record to go with it, as the Australian team in the mixed 400 freestyle relay lowers their own mark in a 318.83. The US and Great Britain were both with the Aussies at the halfway mark, but once the Australian women hit the water, it was all over. Those two did still clear the rest of the field to win silver and bronze. That is all for the penultimate day of World Champs. We'll be back tomorrow for the final day.